Sid and Jay. A vanilla beige. She's an outfit repeater this year. And for my honeymoon and stuff. Alright, I just left the gym. I started with just a treadmill walk, then I did a little bit of Stairmaster, and then back on the treadmill. I just wanted to do something light today. I wasn't feeling a lift, so today is more of my active recovery, just some cardio, nothing crazy, but I am outside of Macondo right now. This is my dad and I's favorite spot to meet because it's not too far from either of us, and it's kind of like I guess the middle point, you know? So we come over to this area kind of frequently if we're gonna meet and have coffee. So today we're grabbing, I'm gonna grab some matcha. They have the best matcha here. If you're in like the Tampa area, it's kind of a drive, probably like 20 minute, 25 minutes or so. But um, I guess it's kind of like a good spot if you're in a lot of the neighboring areas of Tampa area. So. Anyways, I'm gonna grab some matcha with him, see him for a few, and then run a couple errands. I guess errands, I would say, I think we're going to Home Depot. My dad needs a couple things at Home Depot, and then I need to grab a couple things from Sephora for the trip. I have like no foundation that matches my face. When I was in Cancun, I was just using that Summer Fridays skin tint, which is fine. I'm gonna bring that along with me too, but I do want like more nighttime makeup. And I know you guys are gonna kill me, but I think I need a couple more makeup brushes. You guys tell me, like my makeup brushes, even if I clean them, they still feel like they are disgusting. Like I can never get them to be so clean. Maybe it's because I'm not cleaning them enough. Do you guys have a trick? Because I got that like one kind of like fast drying makeup um, cleanser that's for like makeup artists but then people were saying to me like that's not actually good to use on your makeup brushes all the time that's only good for like if you just need it quickly in between people's makeup I don't know so maybe I need to find a new method because it almost feels like I have like a film on my uh, makeup brushes like they're almost just gross now even when they're clean they don't feel clean so I don't know I think makeup brushes are one of the things that I just suck at I, I just, my toxic trait is just buying new makeup brushes instead of cleaning them after like six months or something because I'm so afraid of breaking out from my makeup brushes. Like they look so gross even after being cleaned. Yeah. So I think we might go to Sephora for a couple things, but maybe some makeup brushes too. I might see if they have a set or something. Just oversharing. Uh, not important information. Oh, I like those. Oh, they're placemat? Oh, pillow covers. Pillow covers. Oh. Just left Sephora and we went to Pottery Barn as well. Dad and I just looked around Pottery Barn. That's my dad's favorite spot. That dude lives and breathes some Pottery Barn. He just loves just glancing around at things. Oh, I've got to turn right. Um, but we went to Sephora as well and I grabbed some makeup brushes, got a couple more makeup brushes. I got a couple different things I'll show you guys when we get home. Sephora is just a black hole for me when I walk in there. I can't see straight, I get too many things, I really do. Tacos have just been my go-to the last couple days for lunch, so I'm gonna do that again today. So I've still got some ground beef left and then my taco shells and some vegan cheese. It's just so easy, so easy. This chocolate from Thrive, it's so flipping good. It has cashew butter on the inside. Nothing like a little appetizer. <laughs> I almost feel like my stomach has not recovered from having some food poisoning, whatever it is, which worries me a little bit. I'm gonna have another one of my little tummy drops because I'm hoping that will help some, but there's just nothing worse than a stomach ache. Why are they so hard to open? I'm making a HelloFresh meal right now, a really simple one, because I cannot be bothered to be making a crazy meal. And HelloFresh makes it so easy. This is not an ad either. <laughs> Here's what I made, this little prosciutto and jam sandwich. 
looks pretty dang good. A little open face sandwich. This would be an easy one to remake too. So lemon, some sourdough bread, prosciutto, arugula, ricotta cheese, peach jam, and chili flakes. Chili flakes I went super light on because I'm kind of a wimp with spice, but if you like spice, a little more chili flakes. Even though it's not Christmas time anymore, we are still using this giant candle because we've got a lot to burn through. Good morning, guys. About to get ready for the day. It's honestly later and it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> I've been taking it easy this morning here at the house, so I'm about to get ready because we are going to, I'm actually gonna get an IV. I think that I'm just dehydrated and still not feeling fabulous after the whole food poisoning, whatever the heck. And I'm just gonna check in with my doctor and make sure I'm feeling 100% so for um, my St. Lucia trip because the last thing I want is to feel fatigued and still have like weird stomach problems when I'm going on another trip out of the country. So, time to get ready. The house feels so clean and nice and organized. My closet is everything but that, but the rest of this is like that. I've just put off a lot of laundry and Jay caught up on all of our laundry, which was incredible. So I'll have a little bit more to put away, but he folded everything for me and we will pack and also um, just kind of make sure I'm coming back to a tidy house. Jay's gonna be here a whole week next week, but um, I'm obviously gonna be gone. Also an update on my makeup and toiletry bag, makeup and um, skincare toiletry bag. I am obsessed with it. It carries literally everything. People are saying it seems like it uh, takes up too much room, but I don't think so at all. I think that instead of using like a bunch of smaller bags, this is so much better to just have it all in one spot. I need to get out my all my Sephora stuff I have in the car, so I'm gonna go grab that really quick and then show you what I got from Sephora. Quite the Sephora haul, honestly. So I got a restock on a couple different things. I got these right here, which these are the Hydrogel Eye Patches from Peter Thomas Roth. I got this eye cream from Dr. Jart. If you guys have an eye cream that you really recommend, let me know or what you guys do for your under eye circles and whatnot because your girl, she's got them. I got a restock of my Nude Sticks blush, and this one is Sunkissed, I think is the color that I did. Sunkissed. Love that stuff. That's the one that broke recently, if you remember that. And then I got more of my Summer Fridays. This is the color, what is this color? Uh, vanilla Beige, the Summer Fridays Lip Balm. I got another one of these little face shaver tools. I just don't want to use them too much. So when I got this last time, I went through all of the different ones and used it a couple times. But I don't know if you're supposed to even reuse them, are you? Probably just once each time, if I had to guess. This is actually for my dad. I got him hand sanitizer. And then I also got one for Jay. This one is Vanilla Blossom. And I also got the Blue Sandalwood one for Jay. Because Jay has always been stealing my Touchland hand sanitizer. <laughs> I got some brushes. So I think the rest of it is probably all of my brushes. So let me get those all out. Here are all of my brushes. So I've got a foundation brush. I've got a powder brush. Blush. Another foundation one. They're two different kinds. And I got a contour brush. A couple different eyeshadow ones. This, or actually just one eyeshadow one. The brush crease. And then the contour one, highlight, and then a lip one. We did the Myers one. It's the Myers cocktail, which basically has everything in it. It has so many different vitamins and whatnot in it. Uh, but I am just sitting here until we get through that whole thing. So probably another 15 minutes or so. And I'm also going to be on an antibiotic, which I don't typically do, but I'm kind of desperate because she said that my uh, abdomen's kind of swollen, inflamed, and uh, she wants me to be on something to help just make sure everything gets cleared up. I had a Kia Soul as my car when I graduated high school, and we'd call it the Hamster Mobile, and it's just such a funny car. It really is. Oh my gosh, I have the hiccups now. 
And Jay and I always joke that it's my dream car. I'm like, oh, I think I'm gonna trade my car in for a Kia Soul. Oh my gosh, am I okay? Okay, well anyways, we always make the joke about the Kia Soul. So every time I see a Kia, Kia Soul, even if I'm by myself, I giggle because it just was such a funny time. Like everyone would be like, so are we taking the hamster mobile? And I don't know. It's such a cute car though. It's like funny, but cute. <laughs> he tried to scare me. We're going into raw and juicy. Wait, no, this isn't called raw and juicy, just raw. How do you know you can even have this? I think they're gluten free. Gluten free. Perfect. I need dairy. Nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't like them. <laughs> Just got this uh, sunglasses holder for my car because I'm. it's kind of crazy that mine doesn't even have one. Also got one of these, which is a little sprayer where you can clean your screen in here. I always see people do this on like their car resets on TikTok. There's one thing that I'm going to be influenced by. It's on like the organization TikTok, whether it's putting together your refrigerator organization or car restocks. The resort we stayed in sent flowers and said, get feel better soon. And it says, thanks for staying with us. We enjoyed having you and hope you enjoy the facilities, especially Royalton they Fit. Did what? They did it. <laughs> we heard you aren't feeling well and are wishing you a swift recovery and sending our warmest thoughts. Pretty sweet. Back home and doing some packing. How cute and girly is this dress. I just feel so feminine and I've never had a Love Shack fancy dress and they're expensive. I will say that much. I can't remember exactly how much this one was, but because I got it off of Revolve, but I remember being like, oh, I don't know if this one's going to be worth it. I think that this is going to be so perfect for the Sol de Janeiro trip though, because they have the exact same colors, like the yellow, the oranges, the pinks, the bright purples. Yep, this is gonna be perfect. Just picked up dinner. I got some rigatoni, burrata rigatoni, I think. Mm -hmm. Chicken parm, some bread, and we're gonna sit here eat, and this is date night, Friday date night from home tonight, and we're gonna watch a movie. Maybe this movie called Lift. Oh, the amount of times I lose my wallet, let's just say that much. I couldn't find my wallet. I called Sephora from yesterday. I'm like, I think I left my wallet there. I tore apart my car. And Jay's favorite thing to ask me is, well, where'd you have it last? Where was the last place you found had it? Where was the last place you remember having it? I'm like, don't ask me that question. Oh, and then he said, what were you wearing yesterday? Were you wearing a jacket? And I said, I was wearing a vest. I already checked my vest. Time goes on, I look back at my photos. I'm thinking maybe it's in my sweatshirt or something that I wore underneath. No, I wasn't even wearing a vest yesterday. I was wearing a jacket and it was in my jacket pocket, so found it after I had a little uh, search going on where Jay was tearing apart my whole entire car, tearing apart my whole closet, laundry hamper, and it was hung up in the coat closet. So there's that, but we found it. So heck yeah to that. I had the rigatoni. It's the burrata rigatoni, I think is what it is. And I got no burrata in it and gluten-free pasta. I actually got it with penne and they did spaghetti instead of penne. And are you a Jay or are you a Sydney? Cause I, I think he mostly is like this. Would you, have, would you have gotten annoyed if it was your order? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say like, I didn't know if it was just because of like me, but I figured it was. So like if they were to mess up and do um, spaghetti instead of rigatoni or instead of penne for you. Right, right, exactly. So right, exactly, yeah. So I was like, oh, it's okay, because I figured that they did gluten-free um, spaghetti, but Jay's like, no, no, it's not. We don't even know if it's gluten-free. So we called them and made sure it was. I really need to be more careful about that kind of stuff. But they did ask me, they said they only have two gluten-free options and it's penne and spaghetti. So I figured that's what they did, but 
Jay didn't know that. But are you a Jay or are you a Sydney? When times actually, you know, when it's not actually like because of an allergy or a big deal um, and you're at a restaurant, if they mess something up, I typically won't say anything. Honestly, I won't. Or if they like don't, that's probably how I end up with food poisoning because I thought that the, if I think that food is not cooked right, I'm like, oh, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. But we are just relaxing for the rest of the night. So I'm gonna have a chill night with Jay. Just made a little smoothie for the road. I'm gonna go on a walk with my dad. So I made my almond butter. I actually used cashew butter today. And some cinnamon, some almond milk, and some protein powder. Is that everything? Oh, and frozen banana. Just got some other stuff from Thrive In. I got a couple of frozen things, but I put them away right away. So I wanted to show you guys these ones. I have a couple different things of oatmeal, blueberry walnut, and these are from Purely Elizabeth, dark chocolate chunk, um, yum. And then we have the Simple Mills chocolate muffin and cake mix. I was looking at this and what you need, eggs, oil, water, and vanilla, easy peasy. Hmm, why am I so tempted to make a fun treat? <laughs> And then we've got honey, some taco night seasoning right here, some simple milk, or um, some purely Elizabeth cinnabu cinnamon peanut butter. Look at that one, Jay. Whoa. That would be good in your. So good, I'm having that tonight. In your ninja. And then we've got these sweet thins right here, which we love. Oh, this stuff, so good. Brown rice cocoa crisps. I was obsessed with this for a while. They're these one degrees. Mm -hmm. So good. And that's the same brand that we get. Look at two of these. Whoa. Restock of Jay's daily oatmeal. And then I also, I guess we are in the mood for oatmeal. I'm actually gonna bring a couple of these with me on the trip, because sometimes I like to have just a breakfast just in case, like we're on the go or they don't have options for, or is this not the gluten-free one? I think this is not the gluten-free one. This one would be if Jay wants it. I guess I would probably just need to bring these then. Dang, I meant to get a gluten-free kind. All right, we made the decision. Yep, it's a good idea to make some chocolate muffins. Where's the muffin pan? Three fifty. This sucker's been used a whopping four times, including this one. Yes, four times. We don't even use the air fryer hardly anymore, do we? We used to use yeah, the heck out of that, baby. That was like every meal. 38 cups. Got it. Okay, cool. Bro, if I can have this one final meal, I'm going this. 10 out of 10 times. Oh, wow. Like, if I'm on my deathbed and they're like, you get to eat one more thing. That looks really good. You want to show the vlog? Yo, vlog. So, you know what people are always like, if I had one last meal, I would, you know, have pizza or unlimited chicken wings or steak or whatever, whatever. I'm going a sandwich like this all day. I mean, you have your steak on there, but oh my goodness. <laughs> every, every time. No question about it. No question about it. A good sandwich is like game changer for me. Yeah, I agree. Okay, all you can do is ask for help. Okay, you want to make these for me? Mm. <laughs> Help me, make it. Vlog, I wish you could see what this man is trying over here. I'm going to show you a trick to look at measurements on here, okay, Jay? One second, please, ma'am. Mariam. I'm cleaning up on aisle four. Okay. Okay, so what you have to do. So they said three eggs is equivalent to 90, right? To yes. 90 grams. Yes. So you go like this, take it off. And I teared it out, like I did the tear button. Like this, let's see, I feel like that's pretty close. 108, it was just a little over. Wow. Pretty good. That is. It, it just is like gonna be a little eggier, barely. Just a tad bit. Just a tad. It'll make up for missing yolk. Yeah, true, true that. Okay, Good then job, we need babe. vanilla. This is almond extract, but one, two, oh, jeez. It'll do. I wish I could dance Can with you this. Open this wow. What okay. the heck? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. How old 
is this thing? I just got it not too long ago. Wow, that's wild. It's just so tiny. Like, see? What? What is it? What are you saying? Dude, I'm getting this off. Okay. Challenge me. Okay. <laughs> Wow. What's a seeds vanilla? I guess it was meant to be. Is that one even hard to open? Oh. Mmm. It's gonna stink. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Chef Jay. You're welcome, baby boo. <laughs> So on this episode of Cooking with Sid and Jay, today we are preparing some muffins for you guys. Um, these specific muffins, they are chocolate muffins and cake with almond flour. So let's jump into it. Here we have our egg white. We have um, some olive oil over here. And then now we just opened up our vanilla extract. Because he couldn't open up the vanilla or the almond. So, Chef Sydney, <laughs> um, what's our next step? Next step is. Did you pour the olive oil in there? No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Pour that in there. Olive oil is in. I don't think we have anything that can do like a tablespoon, right? So, we'll just eyeball vanilla. So now we need water. We need two thirds cup water. Two thirds cup. Yes. Two of these bad boys. Right? Two one thirds, yeah. Should have paid attention in school. In math class? <laughs> Were there easier methods for that one? So this makes 12 muffins. Perfect. It's just enough. Here you go. I'm gonna do okay, next up, we've got add the mix. And then whisk. Look at the flick of the wrist. That's what you meant to say. Yeah. Dang, we should have used the um, we should have used our kitchen aid. Oh, dang. You think? Okay. Here's my KitchenAid I got for Christmas. Thanks. KitchenAid. You're welcome, dude. You missed my one opportunity to use it. No, we're bakers now. This is a uh, new norm. Yeah, this is a season. Oh, yeah. Oh, a little That's too, looking good. A little too liquidy, though. Well, so I do have, I have something that we could make thicker. It's this cocoa. Should we put some in there? Mm. I think it will be fine, you think? Yeah. Does it thicken as you continue to... I've never made these, to be honest with you. It looks way too thin. Where did we go wrong? You did two thirds cup, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's because they're egg whites and not eggs. Yeah, I that, think it'll be fine. That yolk usually thickens it up. That's our problem. So let's use. Should we do this? Or just a regular spoon? Yeah. No, that that'll work. How do I even know how much to put in each? I bought it. Something ain't right here, y'all. It smells so good, though. Mm -hmm. So what are we betting, y'all? Do we think that this is going to work out okay? See, maybe cake mix is just like this. Instead of 12, we're just going to have six. Oh. <laughs> I'd rather have six nice big ones, big yeah. ones than 12 little baby. Yeah. 
Well, that I can't do none with. Uh -huh. <laughs> I feel like there's enough for nine, but it's okay. Licking the spoon. Something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. Mmm, <laughs> tastes good. So another thing that you can do instead of oil is uh, apple sauce. Mm. And it's less fat and makes them moist. putting in the extras still, even though we didn't have <laughs> These look so good. Y'all, these things are actually unfreaking real Unreal. Turned out great. We got some oat milk to have with it. And they are delicious. Good work, babe. We rocked it. Going to make some of this rice right here. It's the steamed brown rice. I got this from Thrive Market. Hmm, I've never done this before, so. A big old bowl of mush. We've got some ground turkey, some brown rice, some avocado, and some vegan Caesar dressing. Here is the Caesar dressing that I used, that mother raw kind that I got the other day. Look what came in, guys. Ah! Okay, this bright stony clover bag. I got this flower barrette, or yeah, well, is this a barrette? Is that what this is called? You know what I'm saying. Uh, like a little clip for my hair. And then these earrings that for my doubles, they'll be little hearts. And then they'll say misses on my first piercings. Are you kidding me? From Bobble Bar, I think it's called. But I got these all from Revolve. I'm slowly stocking up on some varietal stuff because I would use this stuff. I'll use this even throughout from like now if I wanted to. I might save it. I'm weird like that and I like to save things like for my bachelorette trip in May and then I could use it throughout the summer until I get married and for my honeymoon and stuff. <sighs> so exciting. And then this, I don't know exactly what I'm going to use it for but I will be using this because I love this. And then these are definitely for the bachelorette trip and maybe like flying on our honeymoon and stuff. Me not even having a honeymoon planned yet and having earrings to wear for it. But the bachelorette trip is pretty much fully planned. I'm actually doing a little bit of that planning tonight with my girls and I am alone, but it's a, it's a solo night, but it's not because my dad's coming to hang out. Uh, Jay is out watching some football. I think the Browns versus the Texans. Texas Longhorns? Texas? No, not the Longhorns. That's not right. Texans, I think is what they're called. Um, that game is going on, so he's out with a couple friends. And I called my dad, and I'm like, hey, you want to come hang out? And so he's coming over. I don't have a hard time being by myself, but I love hanging out with my dad because he, and same with my mom, like, we can do a whole lot of nothing. You know what I mean? I'm going to open up the garage for him to come in. But we can do a whole lot of nothing. That's the sound of our garage. It sounds so bad. I don't know if we need to like oil it or what. We can do a whole lot of nothing, but it's still fun. Like I'm gonna sit and actually do my little coloring book. I have those markers and my introvert coloring book that my mom got me. Let's see where I put those. And I don't know, maybe my dad's gonna watch sports or something. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do, but we're just gonna hang for a little bit. We might even go through like some old photos and stuff because he brought those to me uh, the other day when I was with him and that could be something fun to do. Okay, here's my coloring book. Introverts unite to color, but separately in our own homes. <laughs> Small talk survivor. I would love to, but my cat and I already have plans. Can't relate to that one. I'm not a cat person. Explore the great indoors. Now that is a Sydney one. Why go big when you can go home? 
Enjoy the silence. I heart not hugging. Oh my gosh, that's funny because Jay and I always joke. Let me make sure that my dad's not gonna get here and I don't have my phone by me. Uh, I, Jay and I love to joke because when we first started dating, for the longest time, I did not like hugging. Like I literally did it. And I, I don't necessarily mind hugging, but you know, I don't really love it that much, honestly. But now with Jay, I hug him 24 seven. But my spirit animal is a turtle. We're both content in our shell. I like people from a distance. See, I like being out and about. I was saying this on TikTok Live the other night. I love being out and about and I love me doing things, but I hate small talk. Like there is nothing worse than small talk. And I mean, that's obviously gonna happen, especially when you like meet people that I don't really know on TikTok that they follow me or whatever on social media that follow me. And it's not even that, like I just, I don't like feeling like I'm awkward, I guess. And I love meeting them. It's not that I don't love meeting people, but I'm like, oh my gosh, like I, those, I don't want to say like, oh, are you from here? And like, I want like more substance, I guess. And that's what happens when you meet someone new. Like it is going to be small talk, obviously. But even people that you run into that you hadn't seen for a long time or you're at like a dinner with like, you know, friends and significant others of friends. It's like, I just am not a small talker. I'm really not. I try, but I feel like I'm awkward. Maybe I'm not, but like, I feel like I'm an awkward small talker. Yeah, so I'm gonna color for a little bit. My dad's probably about to be here any second. And we'll just hang. Oh, Jay's mom just texted me. Safe travels tomorrow. Have a great time, honey. So sweet. Good morning, you guys. Sunday morning. Y'all know what that means? Jay's about to be on the pancake griddle. That's what that means. And I hung out with my dad last night and I packed, but I didn't put all my stuff in my suitcases. So that's what we're about to do. Everything's pretty much packed except some of my toiletries. So that's what we will do once all of this is in my packing cubes. White Fox jean shorts, the mango shorts that I brought to Cancun, the white White Fox shorts, little black anine tank, one of my favorite shirts, which is my Be Kind t-shirt. That's your reminder, be freaking nice. <laughs> It says, it's not that hard. <laughs> this one is from Fiorici. This Love Shack fancy dress. Love Shack, Love Shack, baby. Is that how it goes? Are you packing this? No, you can wear it. Look at what the large fits like. Like a crop top, kind of. Like Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> So you need an XL or an XXL, what do you do? I do an XL. Wow, that's a big difference, huh? This would be like, I, I would work out in the large though. Oh, okay. I like how this fits. Go I for like, it. I like how it's cropped a little, but then it still fits my shoulders and arms a little. I have this Reformation dress right here. This is the one that I wore in the Bahamas. I love it. Remember this one, Jay? I do. I'm bringing it along with me. She's an outfit repeater this year. And then we have my All Saints dress. We at least wear them um, three, four times. More than five times for a cute dress. That's a lot. I don't go to that many trips. And then we have this crochet dress, which I tried it on and I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear underneath it. This one's getting pretty full. I've got this dress right here from Lacademy. I wore this one at the Amazon Influencer event, if you remember that, in Beverly Hills. And I love it. Y'all, this might be getting a little too full. Ugh, dude. I'm gonna put the dresses in here, I guess. Is that even how the song goes? Jeremiah, what's a I got that one stuck in my head, too. Okay, we're in business now. And then this pink dress as well, which I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one yet. I have this thing on here where it says, returns will not be accepted if this tag is off. So I'm gonna see how it looks with my outfit, like if I love it. It doesn't, it definitely needs to be ironed and it's not like my favorite fit. So I might need to return it. I don't know, we'll see, but I'm gonna bring it just in case. Cause it's such a perfect color for this. 
Okay, moving on to bathing suits. This one's from L Space. I need to cut these tags off because they're hanging by a thread. I love this bathing suit. This one from Agua Bendita. <laughs> This one, yeah, Agua Bendita. This one is, I think it's from L Space as well. This one's also from L Space. And this one piece is also from Agua Bendita. My Lululemon flares, basic gray tee, my merch shirt, some lounge shorts, sweatpants. Uh oh, can we fit the sweatshirt in there? Yep, I think we can. Beyond Yoga Shorts. This is going to be activewear. Liaison Shorts from my collection. Matching sports bra. The same but in purple. This Liaison Tube Top. And Black Bikers. I also am going to bring this Lululemon activewear dress. That should be enough. There are little comfy sports bra skims in there. Another sports bra. I was trying to put this on myself, but I think I'm gonna have to have Jay do it. Ouch, I just stabbed the heck out of myself. Uh-oh, these are little. Oh, pretty cute. What size are these? I can't remember what I got, in, but I think I got some tiny little rings. <laughs> then I have my fake engagement ring. So is this not four rings? I thought that's what this was for. But it, I can't even get it over my rings. Dang. Let me get them to look a little <laughs> better on the other side. Because then... See, like that doesn't look bad. You'll just eat them with the other side up. You won't even know it's like that. <laughs> you won't even know they're burnt. <laughs> Thanks for breakfast, babe. Just got my spray tan done. I am dark, dark. Holy Moses. So I guess I will leave this on for the next couple hours. I'm gonna leave here. My flight doesn't even leave until eight o'clock. I think we board at eight o'clock. So pretty light, late flight. So I will probably just leave this on until, I don't know, four, four o'clock. Right now it's 11.30. I'm gonna get changed and then I'm gonna get my nails done. I actually was gonna leave my nails just as they are because I didn't have the time to go get my nails done. But now I have a little bit of time where I'm pretty much all packed and ready. I am gonna go get my nails done. And I do client check-ins on Sundays with my clients. So um, when I'm at the airport, I can do a lot of work on the plane. I can do some work. So that'll be a-okay, but I'm gonna get my nails done, come back, and I actually just got the Dyson Air. That's not good, but I got some. Let's see, but is this marker or is it self tan? Because I had some marker on me from coloring last night. I got the Dyson Air Straight. I ordered it off Amazon. I think it might be refurbished. I need to look back and see because it definitely has been open before. So I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have bought it off Amazon. I'm not really sure, but maybe I got the refurbished kind. I am gonna go get my nails done and I will see you guys there. All right, here are the nails. They're a little bit more of like my, not my feet being in here, more of like my natural nail color than the light pink that I wanted. I don't know if you guys saw it on the uh, color thing that I was checking out. I wanted to do, I did number 20, but I wanted to do like a light pink. It almost looks like a skin color, which I think it looks like a natural pretty color. I think it'll be fine. But I think just because I was expecting, I mean, it is, it's pinky. When you look close to it, I think it's just pretty similar to my nail color or my skin color. I will say I feel like a brand new person having these nails because they are so 
freaking thin and I love when they do it like that to where you don't have like a big chunky acrylic nail. Looks so good. All right, we're all packed up. I've got my big old backpack. It fits so much. And then I'm actually using Jay's luggage this time because my wheel on my other one is all messed up. So I don't know if it was broken when it was being checked. Clearly that's what had to have happened. So I'm gonna contact Amazon about that. But Jay's bag I'm using and then my cow pack. Here's my outfit for the airport. Got my neck pillow ready. Did you see this neck pillow, Jay? Feel how comfy. Oh, sorry. Made it to the airport, but I'm about to get on a Zoom call somehow. <laughs> we're going over all of the numbers from Liaison and what our top products were, anything with restocks, if we can do that, uh, and going over some customer service type stuff. Daniel's sandwich at the airport.